one. In thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thy ear to me. And save me. Be thou my strong habitation, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the wicked, <clears throat> out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. For thou art my hope, O oh Lord God, thou art my trust from my need. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually of thee. I am as a wonder unto me. Thou art my strong refuge. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age. Save me not when my strength fail. For my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken me. Persecute and take him, for there is none to deliver him. O God, be not far from me. O my God, make haste for my help. Let them be confounded and consumed that are adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered with reproach uh, and dishonor that seek my hurt. But I will hope continually and will yet praise thee more than this. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine own. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth. And hitherto have I declared, declared thy wondrous, wondrous. O God, forsake me not. Till I have showed thy strength, until uh, I have showed thy strength unto this generation, uh -huh. and thy power to everyone that he is to come. As we conclude this series entitled This Family. This thought this morning. The senior saints serenity in the city. The senior saints serenity in the city. <clears throat> Growing up in Mississippi on the farm, we we didn't have much, but we had what we needed. Uh, we we raised all of our we, we had chickens, cows, hogs. We would put up stuff uh, in the summer so that in the winter we could go to the freezer, get corn and peas, or go out to the smokehouse, cut off a piece of ham and bacon. But what I remember more than anything is that life was was simple. Folk had a peace of mind. Back in the day, if you if you got a job for some of the major companies and went to work and did your job, you could count on being there until you retired. That is no longer the case in this day and age. Healthcare was affordable, and even though social security wasn't much, uh, most folk were, were still able to make it. Now those who are in their golden years have to worry about law lawmakers trying to take away what little social security that we 
do have. And as a result, many are having to work past retirement age just to be able to live comfortably. You can't go shopping without worrying about somebody or something happening to you. You can't drive on the expressway without worrying about somebody shooting at you. We get to a point to where there is no peace of mind. And especially for the senior citizen, it becomes very uh, discomforting. But I, but I came by here to tell you today to be a good chick. Because if you have a foundation of faith in the Father, what ought to keep you pressing forward is the senior saint serenity in the city. Three things he shows us from this text that we want to try to share with you this morning and we'll be finished. If you don't have serenity in the Savior, senior saints, he says these three things. You got to first look at the present habitation. We'll see this in verses one through four. Then there is the past help. Verses 5 through 13, and then as we try to close, there is a promised hope. As we labor under this thought, uh, the senior saints surrender in the Savior. Unlike other songs, penned by David, this song has no heading or title because it appears to have been written as a part of the preceding psalm, Psalms chapter 7. David, who has now matured in years, writes this psalm as an aged believer to show his confidence in and dependence on God. He finds serenity a disposition that is free from stress uh, or emotion in God is that word submit. Mm -hmm. Though he was met with struggles, his faith did not stack. And so what he shows first is his present habitation. The Bible says in verse 1, the beginning, in thee, O oh Lord, do I put my trust. Let me never be put to confusion. Don't ever let me be ashamed or disappointed that I put my trust in you. Is what David says uh, in this verse. I put my trust in you, O oh God. So don't ever let me be ashamed that I put my trust in you. Deliver me in thy righteousness and cause me to escape. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou my, here's the word, strong habitation, my dwelling place, my residence, my refuge, whereunto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me, for thou art my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, O oh my God, out of the hand of the weak, out of the hand of the unrighteous and cruel man. What David essentially says in this text is that I'm in home with the Lord. Because home is a place of safety. If I can just get home, I'm protected from the enemy. Home is a place of security. I got spiritual ABT, active divine trust. Home is a place of shelter. I'm protected from the storms of life. Home is a place of supply. God is my all 
sufficiency in all things. I can't hold it uh, with God uh, because uh, with God uh, He is my place of habitation. Right. Psalms chapter ninety, verses one and two. Lord, Thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations before. The mountains were brought forth I ever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Psalm 46 and 1, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. What David says to the senior saint is that you ought to have serenity in the Savior because of your present habitation. You ought to be at home with God. Because when you're at home with God, when you allow God to reside with you in your heart and you make God your residence, I don't care what happens. God will make it all right with you. Then, not only does he show us serenity in the Savior because of the present habitation, he shows us that we ought to, uh, as senior saints, have serenity in the Savior because of the past help. Says uh, beginning in verse 5, but thou art my hope. O Lord God, thou art my trust from my youth. By thee have I been holding up from the womb. Thou art he that took me out of my mother's bowels. My praise shall be continually. Of thee. He says, before I knew anything about your power, it was your power that kept me and took me from my mother's womb. Before I even knew anything about you, it was your power that brought me. He says, I am as a one. Unto men. Now let me show you what, 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 what he means when he says this. He says, I am as a one. I, I'm, I'm, I'm as a miracle. I'm as a point to men. Mm -hmm. When folk look at me, when, when they know of the dark days that I've been through, when, when they know where I came from. Uh, when, when they know all of the, the struggles and the trials that I had uh, to come through, I'm a wonder uh, to a lot of folks. Even perhaps those times when uh, when I didn't know you the way that I, that I should have known you, but yet you allowed me to make it to my old age. And folks, look at me. And wonder. Uh, they can't figure it out. They are amazed. Uh, they, they are filled. Because they trying to figure out how it is. After everything I've been through, I still got God. But he ends the last part of the verse. He said, But what they don't understand, here's the answer to the question. But you are my strong refuge. They can't figure it out, but I know the reason that I'm still here is because of you. He says, let my mouth be filled with thy praise and with thy honor all the day. Cast me not off in the time of old age for sin. 
me not when my strength is for my enemies speak against me, and they that lay wait for my soul take counsel together, saying, uh, God has forsaken him, persecute uh, and take him, for there is none uh, to uh, deliver him. Oh God, be not far from me. Oh my God, make haste. My, he, he reflects that on the times when he had to deal uh, with, with running from Saul, who, uh, who was after him, who laid in wait to take his life uh, out of envy and jealousy. Uh, he, he reflected back on uh, when he was in battle and the many battles that he had to be delivered from, he, he reflected back on when he had to be. Uh, the giant, uh, the, the lion, and, and the lion wanted to slay him, but God uh, delivered him. And, and now he says, uh, folks are looking at me now that I'm old uh, and, and, and reached my golden years. Uh, folks are looking at me as if God has left me uh, because of my afflictions. Uh, they're looking at me as if I have no help. God don't need uh, stay with me. Uh, be on my side because other folks are looking at me to do me in and to do me on. But see, they don't understand that I still got God on my side. What, what then he says in, in verse 13, let them be confounded and consumed that they are uh, adversaries to my soul. Let them be covered would reproach and dishonor the seek my hand. What David would have us to know is that the reason I can have serenity in the Savior is because I got past experience with him. Uh, I'm familiar with his power. He doesn't allow uh, adversity to prevail. I, I'm familiar with his belief. He made a way I don't know this. I'm familiar with this person. He has always been an on time God. And that's why David, as well as those of us who have reached the golden years, can give testimony from Psalms 37 to 25. Uh, I've been young, and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken no, I can see begging breathe. I got serenity in the Savior, not only because of the present habitation, but also because of his past help. I know how I got over. I know who kept me. I know who brought me. God kept me. God has been on my side. So not only I'm at home in the present with I still got joy. I still got serenity. Because I know where all my help came from. I reflect back and look on my past help and how good God has been to But then, not only does he show the present habitation and the past kept. He shows in the final instance the promised hope. The Bible says, beginning in verse 14, but I will hope continue and will yet praise thee more and more. My mouth shall show forth thy righteousness and thy salvation all the day. For I know not the numbers thereof. What he says is, is that eternity is not long enough 
to praise God for his righteousness and salvation. I can't even number the days. Eternity ain't enough time for me to sing your praise of righteousness and salvation. He says, I will go in the strength, in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine own. Oh God, thou hast called me from my youth. And hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. Now, also, when I'm old and gray, oh yeah. God, forsake me not until I have shown thy strength, until this generation. And thy power to everyone that is to come. Now, you ain't shouting because you don't know what that means. David has, has waxed in you. And all of his life, from his youth up, he had experienced the many marvelous works and deeds that. God had performed. And now, when he is old and gray headed, his desire is to engage in a promised hope in and praise of God for the mighty acts of power that he will continue to, to, to perform in his life. That's why I see the saints. <clears throat> You ought to embrace your greatness. Yes. Some folks try to cut it up because uh, you feel like it's going to make you look old. Uh, but listen, you ought not let Lady Clara cover us what our Lord and Christ has blessed you with. David, David continues his prayer. And he says to the Lord, Now that I'm in my golden years, don't forsake. Because I got something that I want to accomplish. I want to show your strength to this generation. This generation that lives in the right now. And make no plans for the future. This generation that does not believe in being committed to God. But David says, What well, I want to show this generation while I'm still here is that because I served him while I was young, now they're old. I still. And maybe to make it. Because while I served you, while I was young, you didn't leave me. Now I'm that I'm old, you don't keep me. I want this generation to understand that it's something to serve God right here. I want this generation to know that don't wait until you get old to start spending time with God. Because if you keep God in your heart, why you know? God will keep you when you get old. But then, he, he, he says to, to our sins, that's why saints, you, you need to understand that why your sight may have grown dim and, and your steps may have become slow, you still ought to have a desire to show this generation that the only reason you still stand in that very thing you've been through is because of God's strength. Amen. And, and as, he, as he closes the verse, he, he 
sees something profound. He says, let me, let me show your strength to this generation. Wow, wow, I'm here. Then he says, and thy power to everyone that is to come. For those who are yet unborn, because you've been so powerful in my life, because your love is limitless, because your blessings are bountiful, when you call me home, I want to leave the record for others to read. I want to show me of a life so that when those who are not even born yet read my history, they see his stuff when they read my history. They can see your mighty hand when they read my history. They can see how you were my help because you blessed me. I want to bless this generation and even those who are yet to come. So, so what I came to say to all of my glorious gray heads here. Don't quit. Although times might be hard, times might be tough, the valley might be dark, the cross might be there, and the path might be narrow. Don't do it. Because too many prayers have been prayed. Too many tears have been shed. Too many miles have been traveled. Too many mountains have been climbed. Too many testimonies have been given. And too many hearts have been touched. So keep on serving. Be at home with God. Because He is your habitation. Remember the power of God because He has been your past kept and rest in the promise hope of God because it is in His strength that you can keep on stepping, seeing the same uh, path solidity in the Savior because God is able. He'll make a way for you, He'll make it all right with you. To all of my of my glorious great head again. If you are if you are above 70 years old, would you raise your hand? If you're over 70. Raise now some of y'all want to play game. If you're above 70, raise your hand. The Bible promises three score and ten. And if by reason of strength, God gives us extended grace. If you pass 70, God is blessing you. He's giving you extended grace. Everybody, keep raising your hands. Everybody, stand on your feet. Those of you who are above 70, raise your hands. Everybody else, stand on your feet. Give these glorious gems a, a word, a hand of praise. Thank you. Thank you for your labor. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your wisdom. Through me, stay the star and stand. You are wisdom. Thank you. God been good to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got I gotta quit. I'm gonna get happy. Uh, for you. To all of our glorious saints. God been good to you. God been good to you. When you thought you weren't going to be able to make it, God brought you through. He's been good to you. And listen, listen, listen. Let, 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 me, let me share this. Let me share this. I, I, 
I know, I know sometimes you show when when we reach those golden years, those those two years, and we slow down and we can't do all the things that we used to do and we still want to do them and, and sometimes we get frustrated and we go through one battle of sickness after another, this happened, then that happened. And sometimes you just get weary and worn. And sometimes uh, you get to a point where uh, you feel like you just wanna, you just wanna go on. Uh, but listen, let, let, let me help. Stop trying to do God's job. Live every day with a purpose. Listen, God is the builder of the heavenly attack. When this is the house of our tabernacle, shall be designed. We have a building of God. God ain't got your building ready yet. So until He gets ready for you to move, just keep on there. Stop trying to do God's stuff. Stay in your lane. Your lane is to live. God's uh, lane is to bless. Let Him bless you. I don't care how hard it is. Listen, I understand it's difficult, but keep on living. Live every day with a purpose. Live every day with a vision. Live every day with the intent of being a blessing to somebody else. Stop trying to do God's job. Do yours. Your job is to live. See you, saints. God bless you. We love you. We thank God for you. We are here because of what you have done. We stand on your shoulders. We, we, we have been blessed because of your blessings. Because of, of much of your wisdom. It's how we made it throughout the time. Thank you. May God bless you. Somebody say that. You got to say yes to Jesus. Jesus wants you to obey his glorious gospel. Put him on in baptism by uh, saying yes to him, uh, by hearing the word, believing that same word, repenting of your sins, confessing Christ, Christ will be the Son of God, be buried in the water grave of baptism for the remission of your sins. Get up out of that water, a brand new creation, brand new creation. Be faithful unto death. And God will give you a crown. It won't fade away. Everybody. Maybe there's some soul here today and you're not saying yes to Jesus. Maybe there is some senior saying in your life who's been praying for you. You still, perhaps on this time side, because they've been praying for you. You ought to say yes today. And leave here being able to uh, serve God and be an example. Perhaps as God blesses you to generations that will come. To those who are here, maybe I'm speaking to some some senior saint. You 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 feel you got to a point where you, you've been looking for, for other things to, to sustain you. And you've just forgotten about the hope that you have in Christ. You, 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 you're concentrating on, on your age and, and, and your feebleness. And sometimes you get to a point where you, we, we just uh, really forget who we are. You ought to have some in the Savior. Your peace of mind ought to be in the fact that God has brought me from a mighty long way. God has kept me all these years. God, when I'm sick, He gets me up. When, uh, when, when I can't find my way, He guides me. Yeah, I, you know, things have been tough and I, I can't do what I used to do, uh, but I'm still here. So use me, God. Maybe, maybe your prayer, uh, your request this morning ought to be to ask 
prayers of the righteous to help you to ask God to continue to use you to his honor and to his glory. Don't give up. Don't give in. Keep on fighting. God ain't through with He has much more for you to do. And if you continue to trust in Him, be at home with Him in your presence. Remember what He did for you in the past. Hope on his promises. Yeah, he'll be made. Walk Stop, stop, stop having a big heart, so he said. Stop trying to do God's job. Keep on doing it. And then he decides. He won't come. Somebody needs to say yes. Once you come, as it seems, say his invitation. Do it just now. Come on. Say it. Where?